What's up, everybody? We're live from the Immigrant Restaurant, Kohler, Wisconsin. And Mason Crosby and his wife next to me. So that's what you're doing. See if anyone shows up. Actually, one of the projects is a bit about Mars. Yeah, so that's why Mrs. Hayes kind of gave me a little help for the weekend and that's why we're still members of the Royal Bay. We're still members of the Royal Bay. We're still members of the Royal Bay. Oh, there. People are starting to come in a little bit. What's up, Slide Crush, Tracy? So, high limit, high limit, what am I talking about? It's a prefix menu, wine dinner here. Got Mason and his wife next to me. Former Packer kicker. Let's see. What's up, B Mark? So, Molly is an aspiring author. And what are you doing with wine? Well, there's a little project in the works. A wine project. That's a secret, though. Approaching the unapproachable, kind of leading people into a relationship with wine where uh, you don't need to be an expert, just have an opinion. I like that. That was kind of the hope. I like that. So, cheers. I played everything. I'm like, play everything. So, what's your favorite type of wine? Probably any bottle I drink with him. Any bottle. No, I really like red. I really like Napa Cabs so much. I like Napa Cabs so much. Um, I waitressed in college where? Uh, at a steak place in Boulder, Colorado. Okay. That's where Mason and I met. It works out. It's and, awesome. But if you run out, it's not good. We would have these wine seminars. And this woman came in to kind of teach us how to sell, sell the wine better. Okay. And she said there's two Yeah. Uh, oh, tonight? To me, it's like, it's, but it, it would be it, something that will hopefully have a really so, positive me, impact for uh, kids in sports in Wisconsin. So that's way more important than, than drinking. I mean, yes. it's, it's taking priority over socializing. Yeah. I hear you. People I really, really like. Cool. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. That's exciting. Oh, wow. Oh, this is going to a really different spot. She just asked me what bothers him most. Yeah, I apologize. There's not great reception here. We tried the internet, that didn't work. Or the we tried the Wi-Fi that didn't work, so we're on uh, we're on cellular right now. How is it, Robin? Is it okay? What's up, Robin? Dita, DG Productions. Everyone's here. So we had the Amuse Bouche that was pretty good. Now we're having a crisp pie day cochon. What is that? Pickled plum puree, dehydrated strawberries. And there's like nobody in here. If I go live on my other channel, you can have 5,000, 8,000 people in there. It'll, this will be bigger at some point. There's a way bigger audience for this than gambling. Way bigger. Yeah. So then, yeah, it's still choppy. I apologize. Second course, seared foie gras. Third course, trio of lamb. So, we'll go live here now, and then I'm going to go to the Taste of the Vine. That's going to be way more exciting. We're going to have hundreds of different, different types of wine we can try. They're going to have a ton of different food. It's going to be really good. Thank you, Robin. I do see that. It's clearing up now. 
All right, so this guy's taking a picture of me, so we'll take a picture of him right now. We just like do that thing where you take pictures of each other. Yeah, there's it's not great reception down here. I apologize. I should have just done a regular video for this one. Banana slots, just getting hungry again. I'm not gonna eat like eight tacos, but I might after this. I might eat a bunch of tacos. We'll see. Until right now, it's always been theory. And here I got this fellow right now. Ooh. This little thing. That's when I talk about overhead. So. A little bit of butter. They like to watch me eat. Show them how I do it. And then they got salt too. Sandra, you want to go to dinner with me and my friends? I'm sure you can make a lot of money doing that. A little bit of salt on there. He's so good. What's up, Chris Pasties? So good. No, you put lipstick on your eyes. <laughs> so I think, I don't know. I just don't think it's a good thing to figure yourself out. The world is waiting to hear that. This is, this is. I am on our oldest. Is under? Mm. So tomorrow. I've learned a lot tonight. <laughs> we'll be having dinner with Martha Stewart. It's going, we're going to have reception there for sure, I promise. It'll be really good. Whoa. Almost dropped it. Right. 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 It's really good. It's a 2021 Willamette Valley Chardonnay. Not too buttery. Very crisp. Mm. Bro, you're right. The ends are so amazing. But the middle is going to be really good, too. They make all of their pastries, things like this in house. What's up, Leo? What's up, OG? OJI? So, what else? We've got the Chardonnay, or some Pinot Noir, St. Francis Merlot. Some Sequoia Cabernet, and then a rosé champagne. It'll be okay. Slack Rush, pretending to eat a Greek salad. Nothing wrong with that. Or you're eating a Greek salad, pretending. It's fancy. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, let me show you the table here. So it feeds into the corporate. Good table. It's pretty nice. Oh, they're bringing some stuff to us over here. Because, it, because it's like I'm an MGM or I'm here, I'm there. So, oh, okay. So you're, you're in the middle of the country. So are we going to Vegas? Or are we going? We're in Wisconsin here. It's the only Fur Diamond five star restaurant, I think, here in the Midwest, right? Or resort. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look, I've never seen artichokes on a plant before. My life is now complete. They've got artichokes on the plant. I might just eat those if I get hungry. Who would have thought? Who would have thought to decorate a plant with artichokes? It's probably no. It's probably normal at the Crosby House. Just artichokes everywhere. No, I'm the only one with artichokes. Do you decorate your plants with them? No, so plants come to my house to die. Okay. But I only have like a few of the same plants all the time. So there's always fresh orchids, but I mostly buy the Home Depot. Do you kill them? Oh, so bad. But here's, oh. my, here's my thought process. Um, they're really not that expensive. Yep. So like I had somebody compliment me once and said, wow, your orchids are always so beautiful. And I said, it's because I replaced two or three of them, you know, weekly. Yeah. But when I think about what a fresh flower arrangement costs, like 
So what if I have to rebuy them? So you need to, one ice cube a week. No, it's two ice cubes. Two ice cubes a week. And then you can actually take it out after a diet, and you can rinse out the... Okay. I, yes, yes, yes. I've heard all this, but I'd much rather just chuck it. I know it's bad. I know it's bad. Like, I'm not proud of this, but you come to my house, there's going to be beautiful orchids. <gasps> and it's gold, of course. Real gold. Check it out. Mr. Handpay coin. Oh, wow. That is Lucky coin, yep. From me. It's a good luck. Mr. Handpay. Right, so what is this? Yeah, it's a long story. Mr. Handpay. You know, I'm going to be right, watching so you now. Alright, so if you're enjoying that, we're moving into red wines. So, uh, we, what we have here is our date Colbert Pinot Noir, also from Residence Wines. So, when we built the winery, well, we bought the vineyard, the first vineyard in 2013. We bought this vineyard in 2014. We thought it was smaller than it was, but when we cleared out a lot of blackberry bushes, which are prolific in Oregon, mm -hmm. um, we found a lot more great red dirt to plant our vines in. And so this is what you get to drink now. In 2018, we built the we finally built the winery. We were able to move Guillaume Large, who's our winemaker, him and his family from. Uh, Burgundy from Louis Jado Cellars to live on property, and he's been there since 2018. He made this Dacovert Pinot Noir, and I think you're going to love it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, time to eat. That's all I've been doing all day, I feel like. So, what is this? So, that's um, Pied de Cochon. Fried, fried pied de cochon. So pied de cochon is um, is a pig feet. Ah. Is what? So in, pig feet. in France, in France, the only thing that we don't eat from the pig is the eyeball. Otherwise, everything else we, we eat, and the, the feet are a very succulent thing. So this is pig feet. Yeah. Oh. Where do you see that? Where do you, you see that the on the menu? That's um, a reason why the they kept course? it in French. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the first course, crispy pied de cochon. Okay, that's why I didn't know. Yeah, where have you been my whole life to explain everything to me? I never knew. So, cochon is okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Eating pig's feet right now. Who would have guessed? That is delicious. This is so good. Who knew? That's wonderful. The only people who speak French here. Let us know. There's people? There's more than one? Where's yeah. our vegetarian friend, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> Leo, I appreciate it. So how are you liking your pig's feet? It's our weird pig's feet. Very good. Yeah, exactly, Chris. What it's happened? just like park. What I mean, to the fourth foot? <laughs> exactly. These are three-legged pigs. A good pig you don't eat all at once. I mm -hmm. asked me the other day, mm -hmm. I don't know what they were saying, this little thing something I did, and they were like, would you rather do that or eat ham? And I was like, do that. I would do that. That's true. They're like, we have the best feet in the world next to me and Mason. That's true. That's kind of sweet. There's still love in Wisconsin. Yep. I don't know where that person is. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good care of those feet. And what do they Well, have you thought about OnlyFans? What happens Someone said that to me the other day. My brother was like, you got a lot of weird requests on Instagram. Yeah. Foot fetish. All right. Would anybody sign up for the Mason Crosbury foot fetish OnlyFans? page for $49.99 a month. We're releasing it tonight. His kicking foot is actually really weird. His kicking foot. We call it like his dino. You're making it like a better cell. We call it his dino bone. People are into that. I have like a calcium like build up on top of my foot. Yep. It's not cute. Yep. I mean, it's super cool and it's insane. It's basically square. That's how you hit all those amazing field goals. Dino. You can't get laid on a for 16 years. You're going to have a chance. Yep. <laughs> What's up, Randy, the slot wizard? This is a really new experience. Again, not many people in this one, but people will watch it later. 
she know what they are? Yeah. Oh, it was funny. I think Molly, Molly posted something about feet. And my brother does some, like, he'll sometimes kind of track my Instagram and help me Yeah. He's like, maybe like, like don't do any more foot stuff. <laughs> we got some, exactly. He was like, we got some weird messages on that. It's completely normal. You should see some of mine. Actually, maybe I'll show you guys one of them. And we can do a reaction video. Oh, I thought you were taking your shoes off. Not my feet, no. I'm going to say eat my feet, but... That doesn't come off right. Oh, Laura, you are here. Okay. So we're eating pig's feet right now. I don't know if you're hungry, but... No, she just has to say it in French. It sounds beautiful. <laughs> say it. How... Pied? Pied? I can't do that. Try it. Pied de cochon. Pied de cochon. Yeah, you're perfect. That's very good. That's very good. I can't do it again, though. It's a one-time... All right. Follow Molly C. Crosby on Instagram. This is so nice. And she will... Yep. She will do all French for you on there. She'll teach you everything you don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I gotta find this 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 dude. This is real life. This is like what I get. So you can push play and then start reading how weird people are. He's on pause. This is a dude. Um, it gets like super weird. Oh gosh. Oh, this person really feels strongly. About oh yeah. You. My bad. Just drunk and horny. Uh, You're out of my league. This is so interesting. Well, it gets really good. Handsome man, good people. Well, I feel like you're actually kind one of second, trying to second, sell right. themselves at this point. He's 6'3". Yep. That's a really specific detail. There's a really, um, there's a really good part. I'm the first guy he's ever wanted to kiss. First guy I've realized I'm attracted to. Yep, yep. Wow. And then I feel like he's being very vulnerable. He said I could do anything to him, but no murder, though. Right here. This is the best part. Been dreaming about you. What is going on? The, the worst part about this is you don't respond at all. <laughs> he sent me a weird picture. There's like no, it just keeps going. Yeah, it just, there's no encouragement of this. No. And it's just wow. I'm gonna be his first and last. Wow. Yeah. So things get weird on social media. I just didn't, there's this whole universe that was unbeknownst to me. So did you Ooh. say you love orchids? Yes. So I, I love our interior designer from Green Bay. for real. And she loves orchids. So I too love orchids. So I have a whole room. Listen, she likes to kill them. No, don't even try to change it. Let's not get it twisted. I don't enjoy this. I feel badly about it, but I just scrap my losses Listen, and start over. She gets 11% rebate on new ones at Home Depot, and then she keeps buying new ones with the rebate money. So I have at least 25 of them. That's good now. So I have at least 25 of them. What's up, Samantha Hoppy? Window sale that I regrow and then add. They bud. Yes, I've heard, I've heard this is possible. I just don't live my life that way. It is. They but die. it is a lot of so thank you for your time here. I chuck it over the fence. So I mean, like I'm in, you know, nitrogen cycle, whatever. Like they're going back into nature. There's a lot. It is a good amount of work. It's a circle of life. It's a circle of work. But I, I regrow all of mine. That's incredible. I, I also love. Um, the stag, the stag ferns. I love any. Mary Kay likes any solid green plant or white orchid. Yes, it's very specific. Oh, it's Robert the accountant's birthday. I can't believe this is. I'm so intrigued by this. So is this oh, like, is this like meal time at your house? Weird. Okay, so I want to show you guys something. You two and the internet. Derek Frost. So Derek, Derek used to play in the NFL with Mason. So we're getting the gang back together right now. 
How's it going? What's up, Where's your wife? <laughs> Not that she's just clearly your better half. Yeah, Derek, we had a we had to call and say hi. Take your shirt off. Show us that weird thing in the middle of your chest. He's doing this like live stream thing during dinner. We're in the basement of the American Club. Yeah, we're at Col in Kohler, Wisconsin, Food and Wine Festival. We saw him. So now you're you're live on. Jason was there too. No, we're drinking and eating. Mason did today. Mason oh, Mason did. Yeah. Today at uh, Blackwall. So, so Derek, what the, what the people from Colorado know about Mason Crosby? Derek was the punter. Well, it depends on Mason, if they like to see you or Mason was the know. kicker for the Packers, That's my college bro. roommate and them. So. <laughs> my son is at CU right now. Yeah, I live in it's right there. Um, we were actually at the CU game last weekend. Where are you going in the bathroom, Derek? It was actually the first game that either one of us had been. I was a cheerleader there, and, but he was playing, and neither one of us. Things are so weird ball. right now. <laughs> we were there. Hey, buddy. Why is it so dark? No, it's good. Sarah kicks him out of the house every once in a while. I see your last name. He's probably in his car in his garage. Sari kicks him out every every other day. She's kind of a boss. She's sort of awesome. I don't know what's happening. What position do I play for the Packers? Nothing. I wish I could hear you better. We saw him in Hawaii. What's that? No way. You didn't say that. What do you say? He just said that he, he, knew, he said that you were to his wife. I did, yeah, I did. <laughs> I definitely thought Derek was awesome, but sort of that he outpicked his coverage. Yeah, he did. He's the only player in the NFL that have five negative punts. Don't say that. Okay. It's a hard place to kick. That was not friendly. <laughs> so Derek only played five games in the NFL and he had five negative kicks. That's punts. not true. Five punts that no, were negative. Highly successful. He's the only player in NFL history to have negative Derek, average. I'm trying to intervene. I'm trying to intervene on your behalf. <laughs> um, we, didn't, we didn't plan this, but I'm now a, adjacent to his live stream. Yep, so Jason was there. Yep, he goes, boom. Yeah, yeah, no, this was not planned. We just met. We were just seated next to each other at a Kohler food and wine dinner. I was like, I thought you're still playing this year. Well, he's trying. Oh, oops, bad subject. No, Sorry. he's very, like, Mason feels very positively about it. Yeah. He's, he's not that, he never, he never gets real high or low. And he got to see all of our son's football season, but now I think he's very ready to play. He's kicking so well. Ooh. But, Yep, this is when you get picked up, playoff time. That wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the worst, but it is kinda nice to see that if he doesn't get to play again. It was delicious. That if he doesn't get to play again, he's he's a pretty content guy. Derek's trying to play still too. What? Yep. Yeah, I can hear you. Are you drunk, Derek? <laughs> All right, Derek. Just wanted to, just wanted to say hi, so you can say hi to the world on YouTube, and say hi to your old boy, Mason. I know. I know. Can't hear you. Call me Sunday. Call me Sunday. All right, Derek's gone. So, okay, so Derek played for the Packers in like 07 when we cut John Ryan. And Derek was actually the holder. Derek was the holder for Mason for a while. The good old days. We used to hang out with him, Charles Woodson, all those guys. Yeah, Derek was his holder. 
That's a lock and roll. Yeah, it's 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 a lock and roll. Yeah
Goose liver. Goose liver. Polly doesn't want to be a Oh, they're like, oh my lord, I'm calling PETA, they are saying. All right, watch out. Molly's getting rowdy over here. She's double fisting. No, it's not. Triple fisting. Here's the thing. Going back to that concept of not needing to be an expert, but just have an opinion. Yep. You need to save a little of your next one. I agree. Save some of this. So when the next one comes, you taste them side by side. I like that. And develop an opinion. I like that. It's so difficult to know what you think. But then you should have confidence when you taste them side by side. Like, you know what you like. I agree. So it's normally like when I drink, I'll have... I usually, like, I like to do, like, I like to do verticals, where... I just was at a vertical tasting for Stagland. I like to do, like, 10-year different verticals. So, like, 79, 89, 99, 2009. What? You're doing that with, like, whiskey or something? No, with what? wine. What wine? I've got wine back to 69 in my cellar at house, my house. So I like to do... Verticals like that, but then what we do? What was that movie in space? Like that's like beyond vertical. Spaceballs. Spaceballs. She's talking about spaceballs. Or Darth Vader with the big head comes out. That one. Not the movie. No, the one with George Clooney. Batman. We're getting close. Batman. But still not it. That's like extreme vertical. That's there's like no words for what. It's the best vertical. No, but any kind of vertical. So I have them all out. Okay. And then we'll taste them all. Taste them all side by side. But I agree with what you're saying. That's a great idea. The dark helmet, Randy says. Exactly. Y'all are beyond hope. What happens if you don't cleanse your palate? You just continue to have the animal product <laughs> taste on your mouth? No, 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 no. So, interestingly enough, I was at a wine tasting. I think it was Taste of the Mind last year. Yeah. Taste of the Mind last year. And, um, they went to give me another pour in the same glass, and I was like, oh, let me get a new glass. And they said, no, it's better to use a, a seasoned glass. Better to use a seasoned This was... This isn't this a cast iron wine. pan, this Molly. Was, this was Wagner family wine. We're talking, like, the Camus family producing. And oh. like, it'd be better to have a seasoned glass than, a, than one that wasn't used. Let me guess. They were serving the liter bottles of Camus? It is the worst. Do not ever trust liter bottles of Camus or anyone that tries to give them to you. Run away. <laughs> I just hate it. So every time you go to Chicago, you get that token guy, the token guy that goes, I'll take the leader of Camus. It's a flex move. Yeah, and it's not really a flex move. It means you know what you're talking about. What's up, power couple? That does look amazing. Yeah. Well, one's a Pinot Noir. And the other's a Merlot. Yep. I wish I had a Malbec. I had a Malbec. Malbec, all right. I find that surprising. So you know you can't ride anywhere. All right. Because there is a in Denver. For me, that is this house. Like, a part of my heart is so cute. I'm going to show you my parents' house. No, it's okay. I think it's working. It's back to work. So you love wine so much. All right, I went to went back to enter the Wi-Fi. See what works. How does it work with Wi-Fi on? Any better? What's up, Alicia? Okay, so I haven't been in years. So this is Aspen, Aspen Highlands. This is the house I grew up in. That's the view. If you want to start through. It was in Glenwood Springs. And the What's up, Jamie? That's where I grew up. It doesn't look like that today. That is key. Do you ski or do you support it? Miss Blossom, so you creep. Is, this is where I grew up. I would love to see I skied until about sixth grade and then I switched to snowboarding. I ski with my children. Yeah, because I think everybody should ski Agreed. before they snowboard. Agreed. I just think it's safer for them. Them and stay for every bell from the mountain. Um, I love snow mass. I love buttermilk. Oh, I love snow mass. Yes. It, well, it's not Aspen as far as like Aspen is the culture. Yes. Land they don't allow snow. Fantastic. Well, we poured a special Merlot that I brought from St. Francis in Sonoma. Um, 
This is a special vineyard we call Wheeler Vineyard. Joe Martin, when he first came up from San Francisco uh, in, in 1971, bought this vineyard. His property was an orchard. Uh, and he planted Merlot, and he was one of the first to really look at Merlot as a single vineyard, as a, as a single wine, as opposed to being a blending grape. And we love it. We love Merlot. We love especially this vineyard. It's only been, it, we replanted it about 15 years ago, and it's really coming into its prime. I hope you really enjoy it. It's going to have a little bit more um, bright cherry, which is going to, I think, go really, really well with Chef's dish here, which is going to be amazing. And he's probably going to come out in a couple minutes and tell us about what this is. But um, we really wanted to bring one of the first wines 51 years ago that helped put St. Francis Winery on the map and bring it to you and share it with you. So I hope you enjoy Beeler Merlot from St. Francis Winery in Sydney. Thank you. Thank you. St. Francis. St. Francis. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go, France. All right, what movie? Where did they say? I don't want the fucking Merlot. What is that from? Thank you. 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 <laughs> Excellent. Stick it in, he said. All right. Shove it all in. Reminds me of Tony from last night. Wow. It feels like an, an excellent answer. answer. Ah, it's from Sideways. That that's the best oh. wine movie ever. Well, actually, is it? Is that what he said? I think it was. No, I didn't. But I think it was Sideways that started like sort of this demand in the United States for was it Merlot? Pino. Pino. He killed Merlot. They killed oh, Merlot. Okay, obviously yes. I didn't watch it. All right, so they said shove it in. Don't use any utensils. We're in a fine dining restaurant. Restaurant. No, he didn't say that exactly. Oh, I heard that. It was an interpretation. You're telling me this is a songbird? It does feel like sort of. No, a it's a pigeon. Pigeon is red meat? Actually, actually, you did not say that at all. It is, it is a, um, a, a, the official name is... A I hear him say that. No, it's a... Um, it's a pigeon. It's a love. Pigeon is, looks like steak? No, no. Yes, of course it doesn't color. It actually is pretty good. It's, very, it's amazing. Oh, you said it's well, I don't know why I want to keep doing this. So how little are your little? Um, I know. Um, we have one side. So it's Nolan and the Little Women. Um, Nolan. Laura, I'm doing this for you. <laughs> oh, Robin, you're the worst. <laughs> See? Charlotte is 10. Wait, hold on. Elizabeth is eight, and Felicity and Christine are both six. See what she calls it? I don't want to say it all loud. Oh, wow. I mean, that's basically what the chef said. Who comes up with this stuff? And I'm just eating it. <laughs> go for it, lady. Go for it. Laura, anything for you. I'm done. Robin, you ruined it for me. I can't think about it anymore. No, but thinking about it too much. I'm done. It was a little too chewy at first. Not your fault, Robin. Not to worry. It's and wing fat on mine. Pigeon. It's not a full grown pigeon, so you don't have to worry about it. Candy's like your face says it all. No. no. Yeah. So do all of yours see already? What's next? Squirrel? 
they all have skis. Oh, okay. like, squirrel and frog? Like, no, I learned how to clean no. squirrel from watching they alone. They're not dying to ski. Yeah. I take them every year. Actually, one of the twins was incredibly good at cross country skiing. Which being from I can't look at it anymore. Like, completely opposed to. And then, it happened, and I didn't know what to do. No yeah, more. And there was a cross country ski club that was ages 3 to, Quit. I think, 11. Which is how old they all were Oh, possum. That we could all go on Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. And so we did cross country skiing. And one of them was very good. Yeah. So. But it's basically just like encumbered running. They're going to put. I have my some Midwest two, slots. Four, seven, and nine signed up for school. Amazing. Oh, man. Because I'm like, okay, this year you'll learn. Next year we'll go out to somewhere. They're doing a possum and the sous vide next. Yeah. <laughs> So, it's going to be nice and tender because they've been cooking it for four days in the sous vide. That was pretty funny. It's true. We were here last night and I almost ordered the lamb and didn't, and I was bummed, so I'm super pumped about the third court. The trio of so lamb. Did you go right. back to skiing when you taught them to ski? Okay, I think I will. Okay, yeah. You guys. I was wondering, but I was like, I think I'll Killing ski me. when they There was a couple of times where like, I put them in ski lessons and I go snowboard. Yeah. And then I end up doing a few runs. Can you hear what I'm saying? No fun. Okay. I'm and talking to you. I go with them on a snowboard and they're I, my calves were just so sore. Okay, thank Laura, you. I can go meatless for 30 days. I, I think I, it just would have to make sense. Do they have pizza? No pizza. You have it cold. It's helpful. Yes. Because then you can like hold yeah, them. Exactly. They might not have cold. I don't always hold them. Yeah. Although... Yes. You know what I mean. The thing they go through gives them rentals every so Told you. Chris knows how. Should we FaceTime with Chris Pantel next so you can see him? Yeah, that's how both. Like, I'll just buy some twin tips or something cute like that. Yeah. See if it works. Oh, yeah. Pantel. He doesn't have an iPhone. Otherwise, I would. I'm quitting. Yeah, we all quit. What are we quitting? I'm eating the pigeon. Oh, I've been eating all day. No more pigeon for me. Yep. This is how I cleanse my palate of pigeon. <laughs> Deep fried butterfly wings? <laughs> what the heck, Randy? <laughs> exactly, Robin's like, ew, no iPhone. Yep, they've got butterfly wing potato chips. Or chips. <laughs> And that's when I learned out what it was. I was like, okay, stop, let's try it. Because I like, pretend to be an adventure team. Oh, old numbers is having a good eye here. Tonight, I've had so much food in the last three days. You're killing me. So they'll be burping up feathers. What a fine dining experience this is. <laughs> Jay Will goes, Mr. Hanpei, the channel is starting to become must-see TV. What's the main course? It is the lamb, trio of lamb, bitter greens with lamb belly, white truffles, all right, yogurt, yogurt and herbs with shoulder of lamb, grilled lamb rack with smoked potato galette. And you get some Cabernet with it, so... We will see what that tastes like. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, typically under four weeks old. Would my daughter give this food? Yeah, they're not doing any Roth <laughs> Chateau. Rothschild here. <laughs> Laura's like, I only watch because it's train wreck after train wreck. I can't help it. It's really that bad. Yeah, Midwest is like, I'll just drink. She did a good job drinking at the temporary the other day. <laughs> Quality entertainment. <laughs> Chateau de Neuf. Chateau 
to poopy doo doo doopy. So you have to look that up. Look it up, Chad Noop Pop on uh, on Google, and they'll like tell you how to how to say it, and they'll say something totally crazy. So like foreigner people that don't know English are gonna pronounce it the wrong way. It's it's epic. It's amazing. Chateau de Doopy Doopy. <laughs> it is the best. This is why I wear this bag so you, I can talk to you guys. I haven't drank much today. I've only like we've been to a lot of classes. Uh, we've done. Let me tell you the classes I've been to. We're gonna have a lot of things coming out. And Jason was there. Nope, can't tell you to bring it with. Did a caviar tasting. Did chocolate and wine. We did a hundred acre wine tasting. There were three very knowledgeable. The sommelier here did an amazing. Uh, America's Test Kitchen deep fry chicken thighs. It was so good. And like banana bread pudding. Oh my lord. It was so good. That was amazing too. So that was all early, early. And we did like some bourbon thing. I don't like bourbon. All right. You guys know I'm allergic to bourbon and whiskey. I can't do that. And then. I don't know. I think that's about it. B Mark's like, you soiled brat. I didn't poop my pants, so don't call me soiled. Too late. You can't say spoiled after you said soiled. Yep, you know it, old number seven. I can't drink that stuff. Just get me in trouble. It's so loud in here. So loud. Slot Crush, I'm allergic to hard liquor in general. Anytime I drink it, I break out in handcuffs. Remember that. I feel like I'm touching everyone. Yeah, Laura, send me that for Christmas. I won't drink it. I have so much of that. I have so much liquor at the house. I should start giving it away in the channel, but then I'll probably get in trouble for it without a liquor license. You know? So what's really interesting is I want you guys to look. Nobody is eating their dinner. Nobody. Nobody's eating their dinner. <laughs> Robin, you ruined it for everyone. Everyone's like, I'm not eating Sky Rats. You ruined it for everyone. Yeah, no one's eating it, right? No. <laughs> You're from France, though. You're different. You can do that. Now I know I could be out for lunch, and just grab one of the suckers and roast them. <laughs> what? Wait, what'd you say? <laughs> I said I could be someday out for lunch and be working in the pit with the pigeons. I could grab one and barbecue them up for lunch. <laughs> They need to be immature pigeons. <laughs> yep, only the finest restaurant here <laughs> in Wisconsin. Well, we said it needs to be immature. I think I know the answer. Was that a Tweety? Yeah, it was a. It was a pigeon. I feel bad for. Feel bad for the pigeon that was killed when their mate's still alive. Because don't they mate for life? So inhumane. Do you make sure you kill the pair of pigeons? I kill zero pigeons. Because you don't want one being widowed. No squabbing for you. All right, she says she's main killer here. A penguin? I don't. I've never had penguin before. So gross.
No pigeons are safe in Kohler, Wisconsin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I need that stuff. Next time I'm there. Oh, penguins made life, don't they, bro? I'll show you guys the main course, and then I'll take a little break and come back when we go to Taste of the Vine. If I see you eat a character from Happy Feet, oh yeah, Laura, no, I'm not doing that. Sushi, I had sushi yesterday for lunch. That was really good. Don't worry, Laura, it was vegan sushi. Why does it keep shutting off? No, the pigeon's disgusting. Pigeon was so gross. Yeah, no. Thank you. So sorry. <laughs> it's not YouTube, it's the Wi Fi. And we're in a basement here. It throws a knife in my hand. Not any, not anymore though. They've gone away. Lawyers. Jay, you're right. At least I tried the pigeon. Laura, can you say that? You didn't try the pigeon. But I'm gonna tell you, that's the first and last time I'm gonna do that. See you, Sarah. Make sure you guys follow Sarah Minute Slots. But I am not. Also follow Slack Crush. Get over there. So I'm not drinking whiskey anymore. Not drinking bourbon. Not drinking what? Rye. None of that stuff. It's disgusting. I can't do it. It's terrible. It's so buttery. So buttery. Randy, you're gross. Oh no. <laughs> Enos had to eat pickles pig feet when he was a kid. Or she. I'm sorry, I don't know if Enos, I don't know what that is. But I don't know, we all had to eat weird and we had buckets of them in the garage and we had to like club head and then oh. I don't like fish really because of that. Fish sticks? No, thank you. Karen has not had bread in weeks. Good for you. I shouldn't have had it either. It's so good. A riddle? These are the nice glasses. Stop, stop. 
go take me with you. I might take one with me tonight. Very aggressive glass. Cheersing over there. The bill, God complex, it's already paid for. Oh, Impossible bur Burgers, Laura? Those things will kill you. You're probably better off drinking a bottle of Drano. You know? Drano. Drink Drano, not Impossible Burgers. Ooh, we're gonna have to leave soon. But that's like what I was telling you about when they run into a situation that they don't understand, they freeze because they don't have information. So even though you see the wall coming in now, it seems like funny. But I mean, you can see it. Somebody that's never run into this. It's nice knowing you, Laura. Oh, she was stuck. Oh, okay. That's God Complex, I will not be in Vegas then. November 30th to December 4th. No way. Caviar, caviar tasting was okay. First and last one was really buttery. Middle one was like sucking on a fish tail, which I don't really like. Kind of like that, but. Thank you. The beluga was good, but apparently you cannot import pure beluga anymore in the U.S. It's a hybrid between a beluga and a goldfish. Laura, does Wahlburgers have Impossible Burgers? Crowley family, what am I eating? Everything. So we just had pig's feet and then we had pigeon, pigeon butt. Now we're going to have lamb ears. The cab's a little chilly. Oh no, COVID. Pantel goes eating what eating this weird stuff is what started COVID. You're probably right. Oh, God complex. All right, so they're gonna start a fight over here on the other side. Check it out. Watch this. They're fighting over the wine. No, no, we're trying to decide. Which one is which one? Make your own blend. Haven't you ever made your own blend? You Americans. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Pantel, you're gross. <laughs> All right, you know your stuff. <laughs> What's your name, Tony? Exactly. I'm a classy guy. Yeah. <laughs> this is mine. Oh, this is season. Pull this off. Bro. I like it. Yeah. Yep. It's a skeleton with a trunk on the front of him. It's the elephant man skeleton. Talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. <laughs> you did with your tickets. I've been to France twice. 
All right, where's Tony when we need him? When in doubt, you know what he says. I've done the Rocky Mountain oysters. I don't really care. Those are just deep fried. You can eat a shoelace if it's deep fried. I agree with you. I like a ribeye with a loaded potato. Laura, I respond to my own emails. There's not that many. No, Cindy, we got dinner coming. Um, New England oysters are different than Rocky Mountain oysters. To totally different. Karen, exactly. When in doubt, whip it out. That's what he said the other day. Oh, I did. I ate a live pigeon. Ellen, Ellen, listen. Don't knock it until you try it. What you do is you got a live pigeon, you eat the head off. Yeah. Oh, there has been one. Sorry, Robin, we're back. You're right. Chris just made things weird again. Laura, you probably should take him up on it. Seems like a great deal. From Pantel. Oh, here comes the food. I'm going to eat it so fast, I think. We'll see. You've been going all day long. Did you go to the chocolate one? Carrot soup? Yep, yep, yep. All right, here comes the food. Ellen, yeah, you're okay-ish. Yeah, and we, I think we can be behind you this kind of morning at the, uh, the uh, yeah. 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 I'm getting tired. Oh, long night ahead of me, though. I'm going to suck it up, and I'm going to get early tomorrow morning and work out. Got a really cool workout facility here. The sports core. And they got a bus that takes you there, so you don't have to drive once you get here. The beginning of your trip. Hey, Hugh, how are you? Yep, you missed the good stuff, Hugh. We ate pig's feet. We ate live pigeon. Pantel. It's okay, little baby, boo boo. Don't worry, Chris Pantel. He's going to start talking. We had Chardonnay in Oregon, then we had that Pinot Noir in Oregon, and then we moved down to the Sonoma Valley, and we had that Merlot. Now we're just moving over just a little bit into the Napa Valley, and we have this Canela Cabernet Sauvignon. So this is also a very interesting uh, vineyard. Back in the 30s, right before Prohibition, um, um, this land was actually given to the Archdiocese of San Francisco. Out of Prohibition, we have to make sacristy wine, so he was one of the only wineries left after he had the relationship with the Archbishop of San Francisco, and he was looking to buy oh, some land for some, make some great Cabernet it's Sauvignon for like lamb bacon. the tour that we all know of. Now, his, the guy that was his manager was a guy named Ponte, J.J. Ponte. He was there during this time. He quietly bought 30 acres right next to it. 
This was handed down to his grandson, Ray Tanella, who I work with to this day. We've been farming this with Ray. We have a 34 and a half year contract with him that he swears he'll be alive to renew it with me again, Mr. Bozo. But this is the Tanella Vineyard, and I think it's going to go fabulously with this lamb. With lamb three ways. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a smoked potato galette with a rack of lamb. We have the lamb belly that's been cooked for three days, then fried, and it sits on a bitter salad with tartufa di alba, so white truffles. And then we have the braised shoulder of lamb in herbs de Provence and a lemon yogurt with just a touch of white truffles. Enjoy. Shay, 100%. It's amazing. Don't tell me something else. Oops, sorry about that. Just broke your elbow. All right, let's see what it. I'm gonna start with the. Dot. Oh, jeez, I think it just went across the room. Seriously, I lost a little lamb belly on someone. So the lamb belly, tuber drop. Right. Okay. Lamb belly, it's all right. A little salty. Loin. See this. It's about time. The loin's pretty good. You too. Yeah, good, good luck with everything. Well, just post a lot. I know. Well, good luck, Mason. I hope someone picks you up. Yeah, good seeing you. You too. Awesome. All right, Mason's leaving. Yeah. Not bad. Best out of all the courses, I think. Wait. Did you say I love lamp? Lamp? Oh, I thought Steve Carell said that once in a movie. Love lamb. I'm going to tell you. we're going in and out with reception here. Mm. Oh, we got Super Scroll here too? Everybody's here. I know, the reception stinks. The next stream will be much better. Let me finish this. Listen, you call him Chris Pasty on here, not pastel. They're done, yeah. They got mad and left. This is it your normal Thursday fair, Friday fair? No? Thank you, Karen, for the thumbs up. I know. Drink all the wine. I'm done. We're going to live again a little bit. 
All right, so 8.07, give me like 20 minutes, I'm going to go live again from upstairs when we actually have reception. You got to watch me eat. The dinner was a little weird, to be honest. It's included as part of the package, but... We'll be live tomorrow, actually, for Martha Stewart, too. Or I'll do a video. We'll play that by ear. What? Can you translate for me tomorrow, too? Yes. Thank you. You're the best. What's your name? What? Sandrina? Sandri? What's your name? Bruce? <laughs> Where, how'd you guys meet? How'd you guys meet? Yeah. You got to hear. No stories. No, no, no. Tell the world. Oh, that's okay. There's 21-year-olds on here. That's it. Burns, Burns Club, Bluefield, Colorado. Okay. Just met. Having a drink. How long ago? Six months ago. They met six months ago. Wait, and you're already at Kohler Food and Wine? Don't you think you're taking it a little fast? <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Sunday is a friend. Don't make any more of this than it is. Oh, okay. Just friends. Just friends. Yep. There is no divorce in our future. <laughs> yep. Yep. So they already got the divorce out of it. Now they're just friends. So. And they met six days ago. All right, I'm out, guys. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Taste of the vine. Then we're going to see them tomorrow. Hopefully they're still together. See you real